hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be sewing an overlap sleeve so i have my fabric my lining my paper stay my pattern paper i have my ruler marker and scissors so now to know the amount of fabric you need you divide your armhole measurement into two you divide it into two so my armhole is 19 inches Divided by 2 is 9.5. So I have 9.5. So now, on that starting point, I will chalk 4 inches. So this 4 inches I chalked is going to be used for pleating. Pleating of my sleeve. So I don't need it now. I just chalk 4 inches and I'll make a straight line on that 4 inches line. So that part, I don't need it now. I'm working on the down part. So for my starting point, I'm going to place my tape and chalk out my sleeve length. My sleeve is 9 inches plus 1 inches sewing allowance. So I just made a straight line on that 10 inches. So what I'll be doing now is curving out my armhole. So I came in by 2 inches just to like curve out the armhole. So just watch what I'm doing. You blend it in just like this. And you curve it out so after now i'll be placing my round sleeve measurement my round sleeve measurement is divided by two is seven inches plus one inches sewing allowance so i went ahead to make a straight line to the armhole line just like this so we are done with that so on the starting point that four inches we left we're just going to like blend it into the armhole so what you need to do is just curve just the way I am curving and you blend it into your armhole. After doing that, you go ahead to cut out your sleeve. So now you notch the middle part. It is very important you notch. After notching, you open it up. Now on the notched part, I'll be coming down by 9 inches. You determine how covered or open you want it to be so i want mine a bit open so i came down by nine inches and also on that notched part i'll be coming in on this other side by five inches so i came in by five inches from that notched part you just chalk out five inches And on the down part, I'll be coming in by two inches, three inches, sorry. I came in by three inches. You tell me how covered you want it to be. So now I'm going to be connecting these dots together. But let me just like take it again so you understand. I came down by nine inches. I came in by five inches on this part. And I also came in here by three inches. So I'll go ahead to connect these dots together. Now you go ahead to just curve it any way you want to curve it you just curve then you go ahead to cut out your pattern so now this is just what we need but we'll be cutting two of this you need two of it so i'll go ahead to cut out my sleeve just watch what i'm doing After cutting, make sure you notch that part. It is very important you notch to know your middle part. You notch. So after doing that, you go ahead to cut out your lining as well. So now you can see I have my lining and I have my fabric as well. And I also notch that lining part. So what I'll be doing now is adding interfacing to just my lining. I'll be adding it only on my lining. So as you can see, I've added my interfacing on my lining. As you can see my notches, please do not forget to notch that middle part. It is important. So what I'll be doing next is stitching on the fabric and on the lining separately. So I'll stitch half an inch on them separately. After stitching, this is what I have as you can see. So I've ironed that area. So you take it to your ironing table and you iron that area. After doing that, 
you place your lining on your main fabric just like this. You make sure the middle part where you stitch is meeting with the main fabric. So after placing it, I'll go ahead now to pin them down. So what I'll be doing now is running a stitch at the down part. So you go ahead to run a stitch on it. After stitching, this is what I have. Now I'll be notching that part that I stitched. After notching, I open it up and you go ahead to now iron your fabric. Then you sew it round just to hold it in place. So after stitching and holding it in place, this is what you have. I've went ahead to iron. And on this two notched part that we have, what you need to do now is just place it just like this. And you place the other one just like this. So now you pick up the part that is notched. And you pick up the other part that is notched as well. So you just place them together just like this. You make sure the both notched parts are together. So after placing it together, you run a stitch on it just to secure that notched part. After stitching, this is what I have. As you can see, the both notched parts are together. So what I'll be doing next is just opening it up. While cutting, that four inches we left initially, we're just going to pleat it to the curve. Pleat it to meet the armhole curve. So after pleating, this is what I have. As you can see, I've pleated it to meet up with my armhole curve. So what you need to do to confirm if you're on the right track is just fold it into two and you take your armhole measurement. My armhole divided by two is 9.5. As you can see, I have my 9.5 here. So guys, this is what it looks like. You can see how pretty it looks. So you can go ahead to attach it to your body's this is just how it looks. Hope this video was helpful. Please don't forget to like, share, and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. So for now, I'll say bye.